In this video, I'll show you how you can save a, an existing PowerPoint as a group of JPEG picture files. So I have a PowerPoint open. It's got a title. I can see up here that it's a .pptx file. Indeed, it is a PowerPoint. So if I go to File, Save As, then I can save it as a different type of file. See right here it says save as type. It says PowerPoint presentation. Well to change the type I can do the drop down here and I have all of these options. What I want here is the JPEG file in interchange change format .jpeg. and now that's what it's going to save it as. So I can click save and then it gives me this option. Do you want to export every slide in the presentation or only the current slide? Well that depends. If you only want that one slide as a JPEG, great, then that's one picture. When you save every slide, then that means it'll save every slide as, a, as an individual picture. If here it says that I am I have 27 slides total on this PowerPoint, doing the every slide option will give me 27 images, which is what I want. If, for example, I'm going to use these JPEGs, these future JPEGs in something like a movie, and that is the intention of, of of this demonstration at least. So I'm going to say every slide and now it says each slide in your presentation has been saved. It's a separate um, file and folder and it tells you where it saved them and then you can go there and retrieve them and use them. I've gone to that location while you're on pause and it did indeed make a folder called UWG Online Presentation March 9th, 20, 2012. I didn't tell it that except that the previous file, the UWG Online Presentation PowerPoint, had that name. So it took that name and it created, automatically created, it also knew where that PowerPoint was saved. That PowerPoint was saved in this address, so it, it just kind of defaulted there. I could have, in when I was at the Save At step, I could have saved it somewhere else, like to my desktop. So it, it did create that folder based on the name of the PowerPoint. And you can, that's all, those are all details I could have changed when I was saving as. For example, I'll just save it again. I can go to File, Save As. This time I'll put it on my desktop. Um, where is it? Desktop. I'll just give it. Uh, I'll give it a new name. Demo pics, and I'm going to save it as a JPEG again. Um, save. I want every slide, and now it's going to put it on my desktop as a folder called Demo pics, and there it is, right there. So I can go in there. There's all the pictures there. Now what does this look like when we pull it into a, f a program like Movie Maker? Well, I'll do that next. Alright, so I've got my folder of, of JPEG pictures. I've got my Windows Live Movie Maker open. I'm going to slide this over just a little bit. So what I want to do is just select all. I'm going to hit Control A to select all. And then I should be able to slide these over into this area right here. So there's all the pictures, all the images from my PowerPoint. I am seeing here that it did not put them in order. Um, it looks like some of the earlier slides were over here. I'm not really sure why it did that. Let me try that one more time. I'm going to select all of these and I deleted them. Now I'm back over here. I'm going to select all of these. Copy, Control C. Actually, no, I don't need to copy. I just selected them all. I'm going to drag from the first slide and see if that makes a difference. It did make a difference. It put slide one, slide two, put them in order. Um, I can hover over them and see the names and that's that's helpful because when you're making a, a movie from PowerPoint it's very helpful if, if, it, if Movie Maker leaves those PowerPoint slides in the proper order. And then now you can um, now, now you can work from there. I don't have the older an older version of Movie Maker to show you how you would do this process in there but it works about the same way and and what you do is you go up into this region of the older movie maker and um, there's a couple things you could do but one thing you could do is go up into the file menus and click on them and open them up and you should see an option to import and then and once you go into import then you um, browse to the folder of files that has the pictures in them and you select those pictures and you can select all of them you know and and pull them in in one fell swoop by um, using the control button, um, you know, or you can do them one at a time. But it's easier if you can do them all at once. Or in Movie Maker, another thing you can do is kind of like what I did here, where I had the folder of pictures 
in one spot and I had Movie Maker open and if you select them all you can actually drag them into a collection in the older version of Movie Maker just like we did here. Alright, 